What's up guys? So this is kind of a spontaneous video. Um, I, I was just thinking of some of the questions I was getting, you know, over the past few days. Um, so I wanted to bring to you guys kind of my dual PC setup and how I set my dual PC stream up. Um, a lot of people do it a lot of different ways. A lot of people buy super crazy expensive items um, for very simple free fixes that they can do. Um, so I just want to show you guys how I do it. Um, so here it is guys, a quick little video on my dual PC streaming setup all right so we're gonna start over here where all of my consoles are so I have all of my consoles including my gaming PC which is there on the right on the left there is my streaming PC so I have my gaming PC and all my consoles going HDMI to this here HDMI switch that HDMI switch goes out to my Elgato which is in my streaming PC on the left don't mind the wires I tried to hide them all you know how that works so whenever I'm streaming uh, everything's going through my HDMI switch and then you can see here on OBS my Xbox is on my gaming monitor and on OBS now I'm going to show you with the HDMI switch how I switch between all my consoles while streaming at any time. So here's the remote that goes with the HDMI switch. Right now it's on Xbox One. If I press the two, it'll switch. This is to my PC. I press three. and it goes to my PS4. I press the button 4 and it goes to the Wii U. I press 5 and this is my 360. But there's one tricky thing while streaming my PC screen. Because this monitor here is a 144 hertz monitor. And some of you may know that HDMI doesn't support 144 hertz. So what I actually do is I have a DVI cable going from my gaming PC to my middle monitor. So I have to switch to DVI every time I want to game on the PC. And I'll explain how that works later in the video. So in a dual PC streaming setup, audio is very tricky. The heart of my audio is my Astro Mix amp. I have the audio from my PS4, my Xbox One, and my gaming PC, all going out to a digital optical audio splitter. Then that, that audio splitter goes into the back of my mix amp. This orange cable right here. My streaming PC, which is here on the left, once again, don't mind the wires, that goes auxiliary out to my mix amp, which is this green wire right here. This mix amp is powered through USB, to my gaming PC, which I use the Astros for my game audio and my in-game chat. And I have this Blue Yeti here for my stream audio, or my stream chat. Now some of you may be wondering how I get my gaming PC audio to my Elgato and to my headset, and I will explain that further in the video. Okay guys. We are now on the PC, and I'm gonna try to give you guys like a visual representation of how my um, how my stuff is wired um, to try to give you a better understanding, like if you're a visual learner or something like that, you know. All right, so um, like I said, gaming PC, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, Wii U, they all go HDMI out 
into my HDMI switch, which is what I was showing you with the remote when I was switching between the consoles. Um, the HDMI switch goes out into my Elgato HD60 Pro, which is inside the streaming PC. And then the HDMI out from the Elgato goes out to my HDMI in my gaming PC. Simple enough, right? So when things get a little tricky is when I want to play at 144 hertz because my gaming monitor is a 144 hertz monitor. So what I had to do was basically add a DVI cable from my gaming PC here, DVI out to my gaming PC. So yes, I do have to switch every single time I want to play my gaming PC, but I don't switch that often, so it's not a big deal. And um, this is when the NVIDIA control panel comes into play, because in order to get my gameplay to go to my Elgato at 60 hertz and to my gaming PC at 144 hertz is um, kind of tricky. So I'm going to show you guys how that works right now in the NVIDIA control panel. All right, so I'm here in the uh, NVIDIA control panel, and um, there's some steps you have to take in order to um, get this to work properly. Whenever you first open up NVIDIA control panel, this you should come across something like this. Um, so what you have to do is you have to go on the left side and click the button where it says set up multiple displays. Um, yours won't look like this if you're trying to set it up now, um, but what you wanna do is um, you wanna click on your primary display so mine was the Asus monitor. So you'll click on that, right click on it, and then you'll clone with, and then clone with your Elgato. Mine's already done, so it's, it's grayed out right now, but you wanna clone with your Elgato or whatever capture card you're using. The next thing you have to do is go over to adjust desktop size and position. So here, all you wanna do is really make sure that your 144 Hertz monitor is set up to be 144 hertz right here um, and then make sure you always perform your scaling on the GPU and then you want to go over to your Elgato and make sure this is set to 60 hertz all right the next thing you're gonna do is go to change resolution and here your Asus monitor you should see a refresh rate of 144 hertz Okay, and then your Elgato or your capture card should be grayed out. Once all this is done, um, you will be good to go. It will work. You will be able to game at 144 hertz and also output to your Elgato at 60 hertz without any issues. All right, now that my video setup was explained to you, I'm gonna try to explain to you my audio setup. Um, everything looks very difficult, I know, but it's really not at all. So from my gaming PC, Xbox One, in my PS4, they all have digital optical audio cables going out to a switch that I have. It's pretty much the same, same thing as the video switch, except it's with audio this time. So I press the buttons on the remote, whichever um, source I want it to come from, and then that gets output into my Astro Mix Amp. Um, from my streaming PC, there's an auxiliary cable or MP3 cable going out from there, also into my Astro Mix Amp, and you can hear both sources at the same time. You can mix the audio at the same exact time so you're hearing both things. Um, and then you know it, it goes down to my Astros and then you can also have chat cables going into your controllers if you wish. Um, now one very tricky thing with um, dual PC streaming setups is the audio going to your capture card and to your headset at the same time. A lot of people have issues and a lot of people buy very expensive audio mixers and they're just really not necessary at all um, and here I'm gonna show you why so one minor thing changes okay so the, the Astro mix amp is powered through USB going to my gaming PC and while I'm streaming USB is how I hear um, the game audio and this is also how I chat in game using my headset so in order for this to work, you need to go to your sound options and enable stereo mix. And I will show you how to do that. All right, so we're here in the sound options. Uh, this is the recording tab. Um, here you can see my Astro Gaming USB mix amp is set as my microphone. 
Um, this is not the audio you're hearing right now. Um, I am recording this video from my streaming PC, which my Blue Yeti is hooked up to. So this is my gaming PC here, and my Astro mix amp is set as my default chat device. Um, uh, if you go to playback, you will see I have a sound card. It's the A6 Zonar sound card. So you'll see here, this is set as my default um, playback device. So in order to get the audio to your Elgato and to your headset, you need to go to your recording tab. And since, since I have a sound card, this is the one I'm gonna use. If you don't have a sound card, you're gonna use the integrated sound card, which is the Realtek um, sound card. Mine is disabled because I don't need it. So in the stereo mix tab, you're gonna right clip, go to properties. And then here you'll see, you know, this stuff right here. Um, what you wanna do is go to listen, and then you wanna listen to this device. So basically, um, you know how if you go to like recording tab and you wanna hear how you sound in your microphone, you'll listen to the, de listen to the device. Um, so you wanna listen to this device, and you wanna play back this device through your Elgato or capture card. And this will, um, duplicate the audio going to your headset this will send it to your Elgato and there's no delay no one's ever complained about audio in my stream everything's always good there's no issues um, it always works uh, there's no problems at all with this um, so this is actually integrated in Windows you don't need to buy any expensive audio mixers or anything everything sounds good um, so yeah, that's kind of my explanation of how to do this. All right guys, so that was kind of my explanation of how my setup is put together. Um, I know it looks kind of confusing and everything. So um, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Let me know on Twitter, anywhere. I'll try to, I'll try to answer them the best I can. Uh, I do get a lot of questions on stream about, um, about how this is set up. Uh, people basically think that this is so confusing, this is so hard. Um, because I have two PCs and how does that work? Oh my god! And um, it's not hard, guys. So if you have any questions and you want to duplicate this setup, or if you want to, if you're trying to do your own dual PC setup, um, I'll try to help you out uh, on Twitter or YouTube or anywhere really. Just hit me up. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If this helped, thumbs up. If it didn't help, thumbs down. Um, if you're still confused, just like I said, let me know. Um, but once again, um, like the video. Uh, uh, comment on the video and and what's up guys you know you know what I'm saying I'm done have a good day have a good night everyone peace